Good Monday morning to all of you. I'm Sully, and it was so good to join with many of you yesterday for our worship service. Uh, thanks for everyone who helped put that service on. It was an encouragement to me and my family, and it was so fun welcoming new members uh, into our congregation. If you haven't been able to watch that video, you can still access it on YouTube. Well, as we start our week together, there's a few things we want to highlight for you. Uh, the first is that our pastoral team has put together a set of devotionals uh, from the book of 1 Peter. It's a letter written to Christians in exile. So we believe it's a timely word, a word from God uh, for us in this time of isolation and feeling out of our normal rhythms. Uh, so I hope you will take advantage of those devotions. Uh, secondly, we uh, are going to be setting aside more time this week in prayer. Uh, we want to be a church that continually, persistently uh, comes before the Lord and asks for his intervention. So join us for those prayer times. If you're not able to, uh, feel free to email us any prayer requests that you have. Uh, lastly, as we start our week together, I just want to encourage you with a few words from uh, the book of 2 Corinthians. Paul is writing about why he doesn't lose heart. And this is what he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. He says, So we do not lose heart, though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Today, if your day seems a little daunting to you, being back in the same place, uh, not being able to leave your home, I just hope and pray for you that your faith in Christ would sustain you, that uh, you would see this affliction as just momentary and light in comparison to the weightiness of the eternal glory that awaits us. So I pray for you uh, today that you would be encouraged, and I hope that uh, we will see each other soon again. Well, love you all, and I hope you have a great week.